Hey everyone, this is Sai from Data Ants. Welcome to this NetSuite Fundamentals YouTube session. In this comprehensive tutorial, we will cover everything you need to get started with NetSuite, the powerful uh, cloud-based ERP solution, which is the number one uh, leader in the market right now. If you're a beginner or if you're just looking to refresh your skills in NetSuite, you're in the right place. Um, let's dive right in. So like, let's get started with the introduction to NetSuite. So, like I said before, NetSuite is a cloud-based ERP, so everything uh, you want to access is based out of a web browser. So basically, you just enter a URL, and you can like basically get into uh, your business processes, your reporting, your CRM, e-commerce, all your financial management, all of your systems in one place on the browser. So it not just... Um, offers an ERP platform, but it also integrates with other solutions too. So like you can see, this is the basic classic interface UI of uh, the Oracle NetSuite. So if you can see here, like I, on the top left, I see the Oracle logo. So I can double click on it to get to the details behind what uh, my instance is. You see the global search bar on top. You can see a quick action menu here. Um, you can see help where you if you wanted to like get help with something in the instance you can get your help here some feedback you want to give to NetSuite and your instance over here so uh, you, so this is just to get started um, so yeah this basically gives you an overview of the user interface and navigation um, so if you wanted to change your preferences you can click on your home dashboard uh, and click on set preferences so here you could see what type of language you can set and any profile changes that you want to apply. And the default settings are all here, but you can change your appearance, like any any kind of themes. If you want to change the color, for instance, I wanted to go with a gray theme. Looks better for me. So you can I can always do that here. So it's all possible inside the user interface, and you can see that um, on the on the top here you have your menu bars. Um, you have all the way from activities, payments, transactions. It depends on the kind of an instance you have. Uh, this is a, a basic demo instance, so it gives you an overview of all the different menus available in the system, right? So yeah, like in the NCB navigation is pretty easy. Uh, you can quickly navigate uh, by hovering over the menus here and go to like different forms or transactions in the system. Um, like all you have to do is just like, you need to figure out the UI first to get a sense of how NetSuite is. So yeah, that gives you a high level overview of this. And the most important aspect of NetSuite is the users, obviously who log into the system. So all you would need to do like is set up user roles and then click on manage roles to see who the list of users are in the system. And you can always create a new user role um, by just clicking on again setup user roles setup user roles manage roles and new so once we are here you can see that the roles like you can create an, like name for the role an id um, like you have m a bunch of options here to create a role what kind of permissions they have so yeah user roles are a crucial part of netsuite and then how what kind of permissions they would need to be able to do their job in the system right so since an ERP requires multiple people to work on, um, you might have accountants, you might have someone from the sales team, marketing, IT, admin. So you have um, a whole like bunch of departments working together to maintain the system, right? So yeah, user roles and permissions are going to be your key um, unit to drive the system forward. So yeah, followed by that, the crucial part as an admin is going to be the company information and setup. So you can see that you can enable certain features by going into setup company enable features. So it will show you what all features are enabled in your system. You can have your accounting related features, tax based on where you're located, transactions, what kind of transactions are relevant in your organization, items and inventory, Right, so if you have an inventory or an item-based, um, warehouse-based solution that you're offering uh, or like you're looking for, NetSuite is the perfect um, go-to solution as an ERP platform. And then you have um, like multiple 
options or features available for your employees like you can also enable payroll payment expenses all of these are optional menus that uh, are available in say NetSuite and are optional packages so you have your CRM uh, features sales lead conversion you see they can also have uh, like NetSuite be used as like an, a support a case management system like marketing to capture leads right campaigns and partners so all of these are possible inside NetSuite. Um, analytics too, so you can quickly, um, you know, do analytics on top of your data sets or quick analysis um, or export it to Excel. So you can also have uh, a web presence if you're looking to have like an e-commerce front. Um, all of that is possible with like web presence and Suite Cloud is basically you doing scripting, custom workflows, or if you want to automate certain processes in your system, this is where you would go in. So this is just to give you a high level info on the company setup. So followed by that, there's also, um, like I said before, there are different records in the system. So if you wanted to go into the list, different record types, you have to go into customization, list records and fields and click on record types. So give you the different record types in the um, instance, right? You see there are a bunch of them. Some of them are locked because they're all like like native NetSuite and uh, it's better that we, we don't tinker with them. So yeah, they're like, you have those native record types, you have your custom record types too that you can create. Um, but just for the sake of like this being a beginner session, I would say they're like the different record types would be different types of transactions or like a transaction is a record type, right? So you have a different type of transactions in the system, then you have different type of entities which are nothing but your like um, your customers, your leads, prospects, you know, contacts, all of these are different entities that you interact with in your system, right? So yeah, these menus are um, pretty intuitive, like in, in the sense that you can quickly go over. It, it gets um, like, it takes some time to get used to these menus, but once you're, once you get a hang of it, it should be pretty easy. Also, a quick tip here is like if you wanted to um, like save something and you don't want to go over the full menu, you can quickly add a shortcut here, like the star icon here. You can click quickly quick uh, click on Add to Shortcuts, and this will basically create a shortcut for you, and you can save it. And when you go back home, so that shortcut will be available here or you can hover over your star icon to quickly navigate there. So these are like the different options available in the record types and like, yeah, you can do your data entry here. Um, a NetSuite instance is basically set up or customized as per your business. Um, so all of your order to cash, procure to pay. So you can definitely like look up what order to cash, procure to pay is, how you get paid from your customers and how you pay your vendors uh, to get to work done for your customers. So um, both of these processes are captured really well in the system. It's a robust um, like workflow by default natively available inside NetSuite. So, so the key aspect for me uh, after like, you know, talking about these processes is how do I get to the reporting? So there is not there the best, um, module inside NetSuite in terms of getting to the results or the data that I need are called save searches. So you can click quickly click on a search. You can type in or search for, you know, you can either use an advanced search or you can type in any, uh, like for instance, I wanted to get all of the transactions available in the system, right? So the sort of type payment. So I click on submit. If I have any data with regards to that, I will quickly get the information available for, for me here. I can also sort it by date, period, or I can filter it out by a particular name, customer name, you know, or an account. So depending on my needs, I can also, also save the search or like, you know, I can just um, like add this as a shortcut too. So I don't have to recreate the search that I'm using often. So that's a high level info on like searches and reporting inside NetSuite, but also this is just a save search but there are other like canned reports inside NetSuite, which allow you like see general ledger report, your trail balance, um, your income statement, balance sheet. So all of your classic um, 
financial statements, you have your revenue uh, related information, employee banking, budgeting. So all of these are possible based on the modules you've purchased with your NetSuite instance. All right, so NetSuite is a vast tool, so I wouldn't say everybody needs to know every module in the system, but it's good to know what features, capabilities the system has in case you have to automate a certain process or you know you can help out another team member do their job more efficiently. So when it comes to efficiency, NetSuite also offers a lot of, like every, basically every menu is its own dashboard here. Like you see, if I clicked on the home dashboard, I can see that I have a bunch of analytics on top. So these are nothing but like key KPIs that I can quickly look into. So four quarters ago, what are my bookings? Three quarters ago, last quarter, this quarter. So I can see how my revenue is, you know? Um, and I can like click on to see that my trend graphs, moving average, um, or if I wanted to like have a bar graph and see or like data over time, daily, weekly, monthly, so all of this is possible with the native NetSuite capabilities itself, so the, the KPIs. You can also create custom KPIs too. Um, that is possible. Um, you can set it up, um, you know, you can set up your own KPI scorecards, you can customize it. So, so the, it is, NetSuite is a highly customizable um, solution that you could use um, to make it work for your business. Okay, so now when I, like I said, it's highly customizable, right? So uh, when I say customizable, you can automate certain workflows. When I say a workflow, it, it's, for example, if I were to go into a transaction, right? If I'm, I'm about to enter a purchase order, like say I wanted to get a purchase order, say I, I have a boutique store where I customize um, iPhones, okay? So the way I customize it is I purchase items from third party vendors, so I'm going to create I basically want uh, to create a purchase order. Okay, so I'm going to create, click on purchase orders and a new transaction, basically. So I choose the vendor of my uh, choice here, um, and I put in the details. Say, for example, let me just go with a test vendor. Okay, so and I'm going to put it in like a booster spending approver if I want to click on who the next um, approver is, okay? And then subsidiary, any like segments that I want to use, or like this is basically from a reporting standpoint, um, your accounting team would be more proficient with this and they let you know for sure. Um, and then I want to choose the item that I want. For example, I like in this case, we are looking to get a phone, right? So we want to choose the amount that we are like, what we discussed with the, with the vendor. We are gonna enter the amount, right? It could be the expenses or it could be the items that we want to purchase, right? So so it's like, it's an example. So in this case, we're for the sake of uh, an iPad, for example. So we're choosing this, any options that we want, department, billable. So we can add all of these. So we're purchasing a custom product that we are going to service and then sell it to our customer. So we are going to enter a purchase order, but what if I wanted to customize certain aspects of it, right? Say for example, by choosing an iPad or like any item with like, uh, you know, the Apple, for example, I want certain information over here filled out. That is when I choose um, a workflow. For example, whenever I choose an item with an iPad uh, or like an Apple product, I automatically want the department to be engineering are right um, and then like the class should be like say growth and location would be like say the US East so it workflows would allow me the capability to uh, select these by default upon saving or as soon as I select an item so as soon as I select this item the workflow would have the capability to do that and I'm gonna show you how it looks like in NetSuite I'm not going to obviously create a workflow for the sake of this being a comprehensive tutorial but if you guys are interested in workflow scripting or getting to be better in NetSuite uh, administration or like being a NetSuite developer we have courses that we are, we are offering right now so do reach out to us at the link is in the description below the video okay so yeah the workflow has you can also create a workflow from scratch or you can create from a, a template
So you see you have some basic approval workflows, sales order, right? So based on this, NetSuite also has like, like from your template itself, you can create a workflow that will allow you to populate the information or the fields that um, you want in your system based on a certain criteria or conditions. So this is how, you know, your workflow looks like. You have a start. So this is actually like a flow chart where you have your initiation, pending approval, approved, rejected. So you can see that the, the different values being populated, but this is something which we can definitely go in detail if you're interested in our training sessions. Okay, so like a, we've gone through like workflows, but there's another aspect called suite scripting uh, or like scripts. You can also write like a JavaScript here. So basically that allows you to um, it, it, it allows you to like script the records instead of the workflows are more like UI friendly or like for users who are not that into scripting, but, but scripts are more like if you're like, it's a language called sweet script. You can definitely take help with NetSuite, uh, help desk and you can see how you can create a script record. So it'll show you what kind of scripts you can write. So there are different types of scripts in the system, um, that, um, we can definitely discuss more into. Um, you, you can follow up with us on the same. So yeah, scripting and workflows are the two ways you can like customize your your system to the fullest. Um, and last but not the least, I wanted to give you an overview of like Suite apps and NetSuite integration. So you can definitely integrate NetSuite with different tools, either through uh, APIs. NetSuite allows you to use REST API or SOAP web services, or you can purchase Suite apps. Um, for example, I wanted to connect with Salesforce. There are different um, third-party applications or in integration tools like Celigo, which connect, um, you know, like uh, connect third-party tools with NetSuite. So you can purchase these tools directly in the Suite apps menu, or you can build out your own API-based um, integration. Um, you can also use like setup integration. You can also like you see here, you have your SOAP and uh, like you can manage your integrations and connect with third party tools. So yeah, NetSuite, like I said, it's, it's a vast ERP um, and, and learning um, ERP solution is definitely going to help you in your career if you're interested in becoming a cloud consultant. Um, so Congrats again on finishing your first session of NetSuite Fundamental Series. Um, this is a very comprehensive overview of what NetSuite has to offer. Uh, they're, like I said, the basics of NetSuite, the navigation to different, like, you know, user roles or user creation, data entry in the system, different record types, integrations, customization. So yeah, if you're interested in more NetSuite tips and tricks, or if you're inter interested in mentorship, don't forget to like, subscribe, and then reach out to us or, you know, sign up to our and training program. Okay. Thank you all.